Hello friends, now in this video we are going to learn about the degree of unsaturation. So as we are very familiar about unsaturated, unsaturated compounds, let's have a quick review about this. Now I am taking an example of ethane. So we know the formula of ethane C2H6. Similarly, I parallel I will take the example like ethene whose formula is C2H4. Now I try to give the structure of these two compounds. So ethane, there are generally a carbon atom will have the four valences. It will have four valences and it tries to always satisfy its four valences. Now in case of ethane, there are two carbons. Each carbon will have four valences and of those four valences, one valence is of one carbon is satisfied with the other carbon and rest of the valences are satisfied by, with the available six hydrogens so as all the valences are satisfied with the available other atoms so the, this is a saturated compound now coming to the case of ethene now in case of ethene the two carbons are having only the four hydrogens available hydrogens are only four so due to the unavailability of hydrogens so therefore it tries to make a pi bond here so this pi bond is a result of unavailability therefore we can call it as unsaturated so this is an unsaturated compound now degree of unsaturation so that is uh, calculating the quantum of unsaturation in a given compound is known as degree of unsaturation now let's look about a few examples like C4H10, C4H8 and C4H6. I give it structures like, so C4H10 is represented in a dashed form as this and C4H8 as this and C4H6 looks like this. Now if I say degree of unsaturation in case of C4H10 is 0. And in case of C4H8, there is one pi bond, I call it as 1 and here I call it as 2. Now, let's try to understand how this value 0, 1, 2 has come. So, for that we have a, a calculation how to arrive to this degree of unsaturation value. So, degree of unsaturation otherwise also called as double bond equivalent. So, so now let's try to know how to calculate the degree of unsaturation so degree of unsaturation is calculated by the number of pi bonds available plus number of rings so both the sum of number of pi bonds plus number of rings gives the degree of unsaturation as we have come across the pi bonds now let's uh, try out with an example with a ring so you are very well aware about a, a ring structure form that is benzene. Now let's try out with a simple example like benzene. So in a benzene, so there are how many pi bonds available here? There are three pi bonds available and number of rings. How many individual rings are available here? One. So total it will be equals to four. So degree of unsaturation for case of benzene is four. Now let's cross check with the above examples. Now if I take the C4H10, if I take C4H10, how many pi bonds are available? Look at here the structure, A, any pi bonds are available? No, zero. Any rings are available? No rings are available here. So therefore, its degree of unsaturation value is zero. Similarly, for C4H8, so C4H8, how many pi bonds are available here? One. No rings are present, so zero, that is equals to one. So this is the case. Now also check out for the butyne C4H6. Now let's uh, try out with one more uh, ring like structure. So I take uh, one more most common example like naphthalene. Now I am taking an example of naphthalene here. So in this case of naphthalene, how many pi bonds are available here? Number of pi bonds available are 5. How many individual rings are available? 2 so therefore 
its degree of unsaturation value is 7. So this is how we calculate the degree of unsaturation based on their structures. Now let's check out how to calculate degree of unsaturation based on the formula. So this is the formula available for calculating the degree of unsaturation with molecular formula. So the formula is C plus 1 minus H plus X minus N whole divided by 2. So where here C represents number of carbon atoms, H represents number of hydrogen atoms and X halogen atoms and N nitrogen atoms. Now let's take an example like C4 H8 F2. Now here applying the formula in, in this case so C plus 1 so 4 plus 1 minus how many hydrogen atoms we have 8 so plus how many ha halogen atoms we have 2 halogen atoms minus there are no nitrogen atoms whole divided by 2 so that will be equals to 5 minus a, a plus 2 is 10 by 2 so that will be equals to so 0 now let's check out with the other example like C4H8 so in case of C4H8 so total number of carbons are 4 4 plus 1 minus so hydrogens are 8 so there are no halogens even no nitrogens all divided by 2 that will be equals to 5 minus 8 by 2 that is equals to 4 so 5 minus 4 equals to 1 so you can also make it apply for any other molecular formula now in case if you have a molecular formula like C3H6O in this case then what happens so here C plus 1 is 4 minus H H value is 6 plus there are no halogens 0 so minus there are no nitrogens so what about the oxygen then so the formula so designed that there won't be any effect of presence of oxygen so this total will be equals to 4 minus 6 by 2 that is equals 3 so 4 minus 3 that is equals to 1 so make it apply for the other examples also and check out now also we can find out the degree of unsaturation for 3d structures now here we take a 3d structure like a cube is it cuboid so here the degree of unsaturation is known by n minus 1 where n represents the number of phases so now generally how many phases it will have so it will generally have six phases so you know about uh, the cube if not uh, you get back to my videos all this structure you will be coming to know very clearly so your number of phases are 6 6 minus 1 so that is equals to 5 so degree of unsaturation is 5 for case of cuboid now if we take one more 3d structure like uh, prisbane so i am taking an example of prisbane so here degree of unsaturation so degree of unsaturation how many phases it will have so totally so total phases uh, lateral phases are 4 and top and 1 uh, lateral phases 3 top and bottom 2 so totally equals to 5 so number of phases n equals to 5 so now n minus 1 value will be 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 so degree of unsaturation of prisbane is 4 so by knowing this degree of unsaturation what we actually achieve so we can come to know what is the possibility for drawing its structure so for drawing its structure we can come we can estimate by degree of unsaturation i hope you like this video and also observe for the other upcoming videos please subscribe like and share thank you